JC, you're on WDBO. Go ahead. Hi, good morning. Um, the question I have is uh, my older brother had passed away. He was the executor of my mom's will. And the question is, um, she's getting over in age. She's about 84. And she was wanting to put me on her deed so you know, for probate that we don't have to go through the probate. I can just, um, the house we um, put over to myself. Right. The question I have is in her putting me on her deed, would that be something on my taxes that I would have to? JC, do you live in, I, I do, you, live home. do you live in that home as well, JC? No, I, I'm, I have um, my right. own place. So JC, um, which I'm, JC. I have a mortgage on. JC, here at the Olson Law Group in Orlando, we are all about helping people to avoid probate. JC, do not have your mom add your name to the deed to her home. Flat out. I can give you a lot of good reasons. I'm just telling you don't do it. But we do want to avoid probate on your mom's home. And for that, we're going to use a tool called a ladybird deed. It's a deed that we would prepare. It would state that as long as your mom is alive, it is her home to do with as she pleases. But upon her death, it would automatically go to you. No headaches, no hassles, no probate. So, JC, forget about adding your name to the deed. Do do a ladybird deed, also known as an enhanced life estate deed, as a tool to avoid probate on her home. You're on the right track. We just need to use the right tool for you. JC, good news. We have a free booklet on ladybird deeds and how they work. And if you want a free booklet on ladybird deeds, the easiest way to do it, go through our website, olsonlawgroup.com. Scroll down on the first page. You'll see pictures of those booklets. And then fill out your name and address. We'll be happy to mail it to them. To them. You recommend okay. that? I have a, tip, a separate question. She has okay. put me on her savings account, so I'm already on her bank account. So is that is that good for the probate, or is that for um, when she passes away? Do you have, on her? Do you have her, any other siblings, JC? Um, my older brother, who just passed away, and then I have a younger brother. Um, but I'll be made. Um, she wants me to become the executor. My elder brother had passed away. Um, okay. This year. So JC, I would prefer that you not be co-owning your accounts with your mom. I would prefer that your mom keep her accounts in her name only, but as a tool to avoid probate on those bank accounts, she would make them P-O-D, payable on death to you and your sibling and possibly to the children of your deceased sibling. Okay. So yeah, JC, and go ahead. So it, was a good thing, it would be a good thing to call Holly now to get that information or to set up an appointment? You sure can. Go right ahead. Give her a call right now at 407-423-5561, and Holly can further answer your questions, and then she can help you to take the next step, either getting the booklets or setting up an appointment. JC, thank well, you for I appreciate calling. appreciate your time. You're very welcome, JC. Yes. So, folks, uh, my name is Tom Olson. The name of the show is Olson on Law. We have Ron holding on from Castleberry. Ron, if you'll continue to hold, we'll get you to another set of break. You're listening to WDBO.